I think I think a lot of beginning songwriters have a thought of because you read, you know, articles and magazines and interviews, and you see these people that you hold up as the pinnacle of these songwriting yeah. geniuses, and they'll say something like, "Yeah, I wrote this song in 15 minutes. It just came out." And it's like, you think, you think that every song has to come that way, where it's like, yeah. I, I tell people it's a lot like writing a research paper <laughs> for an English class or something. You you have your topic, then you write like your rough draft, yeah. and then you kind of review it and go, I like this, this could maybe be better, or maybe this would be better if I put it here. And you sort of revise it, and sometimes it might get revised a bunch of times, you know. Yeah. But do you find that for you, do you, do you find like if some, when you're like writing lyrics, do you, we talk about, you know, having pen and paper ready, but you tend to vocalize it with a melody. Do you sort of, like stream of conscious, just think, okay, I'm gonna write a song about, you know, chicken nuggets. And then you just start singing about chicken nuggets, or, you know, is it sort of, It, it how may do you be, do um, you know, if I was singing a song about chicken nuggets, you know, I could be talking about, at first, how great chicken nuggets are. Well, then maybe say at the beginning of the song, you'd be like, my mom called me in because it was time to eat, and what I found on my plate was such a treat, or whatever it is, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, whatever right. you do. And then you could go in about how you like chicken nuggets, or right. whatever. You know, sometimes you don't necessarily always start with the beginning. Right. You know, or you may have, like, a great line for a very end of the song, and you'd be like, I don't really know what the story is on this. Go figure it out. Make it whatever you want it you to know? be. Because, like, there's so much freedom in songwriting. And, you know, I went through this. I still go through this. And that is, you know, you feel like sometimes it's just kind of set in stone. It's not. Yeah. Go back. Rewrite it. And another piece of advice I would give out is just because you rewrite something or you might change the music, don't get rid of what you first had. Because you can either still use it for that in a different place in the song, or you could use it for something completely different later on. You know, if you come up with a complete melody on your guitar or piano or whatever, um, but you don't like how the words that you just wrote fit with that, and you change the music, don't forget that melody. You know, write down what you did, because you may come up with words later on. Yeah, because that, that original melody yeah. that you got that doesn't fit what you're working on right now, yeah. doesn't yeah. mean it won't fit, fit something for something else, else. later. It's good, so don't throw away, you may not use yeah. everything, but don't throw everything away. <laughs> right, you may not use everything, but don't throw everything away. Don't be wasteful. <laughs> so right. with, with your Let's talk about some helpful songwriting tools. Obviously, pen and paper are great. Mm -hmm. I, I find for myself, if you have a way to record yourself, yeah, that's great. That's... Um, with the advent of technology, and like we're using just a digital camcorder right now, I think that's an awesome tool if you have access. But a lot of people have, like who doesn't have a, an iPhone or a smartphone? Right. Yeah, most of them have like little voice memos. Like if you're in the car and maybe you read a phrase or somebody says something, you know, if you have a phone, you can just voice memo and yeah. then you have it because, you know, you might go to sleep and the next day you're like, what was, what was that, that brilliant song? idea I had yeah. yesterday? <laughs> and that's happened to me before I make that mistake as a songwriter. I confess that right now. You know, always have something you can record with. Even if your phone is full of memory, go empty it on your computer and make it to where you can continue recording. Whether that's you just see a saying, you know, maybe spray painted on a wall somewhere, you know, mm -hmm. wherever. Inspiration is everywhere if you're willing to look. Yeah. And so, you know, make a note in your phone. Record something. Whether it's a melody that comes into your head from seeing that, or it's words that come with that, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, recording is definitely a really good idea because I've seriously sat down at the keyboard, been playing something, could tell you the chords but can't remember the melody at all yeah. in my head and that's such a mistake because like I said you don't want to throw anything away and if you forget it you basically just throw it away you know <laughs> so you don't want to do that so definitely have something you can record with have pen and paper I know that that may seem kind of old-fashioned they're like well if I can make a note in my phone okay you drop your phone in water <laughs> you just Goodbye. lost everything <laughs> so. or your hard drive is deleted on your computer yeah it happens <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> definitely have pen and paper, you know, because cause even with that you can erase or don't don't erase, but you know you can right. continue flip to, to the next yeah. page yeah. and go for it. 
Um, I, I, that's interesting you said melody. I find being kind of a, an instrumentalist first, like I can usually remember chord progressions or I can write that down pretty quickly. But then like melodies sometimes, well it depends for me because I'm not a vocalist primarily. Like That's like sort of the least in my skill set. And But I found like having a, the iPhone, like, oh, I came up with a melody that fit this thing and I could shoot a video real quick. Of course it's a little embarrassing to look back and go, Okay, I, I know what I was I know what I was thinking when I said that, but I, I find that melodies sometimes are harder for me to remember. Um, do you find that easier? Is it remembering chord progressions or remembering the? Um, if you have the words, does the melody kind of attach itself to the words for you? Yeah, melody really does attach it to the words because if you can remember the words, then you'll kind of remember how the melody flows. And if you think about it, you know. When you listen to music, what's the thing that really you remember? You remember the chorus because that's where the catchiest part of the melody is, mm -hmm. you know. And there's like some saying that says, if you show it to me, I'll remember it for a day. But if you sing it to me, I'll remember it forever mm -hmm. or whatever. It's really true because music just gets into you. So if you can remember the melody, typically, or for me anyway, I'll remember the words. Yeah. But it's harder, you know, if I went and just picked up my guitar and just started playing and I wrote all these words but didn't write the chords down, I may be like, okay, I remember this melody, so now I'm going to have to sit down and figure it all out again, what I did, which can be frustrating. So even if you don't have the time, make the time right. to write down what you did so that you don't lose it. So I have some tools. So that's a good tip. Have a tool of some kind, either just pen and paper or your phone, or if you have a video camera, that I find that that works mm -hmm. phenomenal um, yeah. for that kind of stuff. But if you don't have a phone or a camera, you Surely you can find pen and paper, you know. <laughs> Pretty cheap. Ha though. Have something to capture your ideas with, yeah. basically. Great. Um, something else I was going to say right quick. Sure. Um, you know, as we were going back and we were thinking, you know, don't feel like you, like whatever you write is set in stone. And plus, you know, we say, okay, start like this. Okay, sometimes songs don't necessarily go like that. If you create a song in 10 minutes and it's and you think it's awesome, that's great. You know, sure. Some people really have that gift, you know, and I've been in that situation before where I'll come up with a song in maybe just a few minutes. Sometimes a song may take a week for me to finish or whatever, you know. Yeah. Again, I think that all comes from the inspiration as mm -hmm. to how much you'll put into it. But don't be thinking that, oh, well, if I didn't stick to that process or if I... Yeah didn't take so much time with it, maybe I have to just think it's awesome and it's really bad. No, that's not true. You know, some of the greatest songs, you can ask the original songwriters, they're like, oh, well, I just kind of was inspired and wrote this in about yeah. an hour, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's not that you that know? doesn't happen. Yeah. I think for some people, especially in the beginning, I think there's definitely a certain amount of craft involved. Like, uh, I have another artist friend who writes like a bajillion songs. And we interviewed him here and we talked about that. And he said he tries to write a song almost every day. I mean, it might be about driving down to pick up his dry cleaning or something. But he like, he'll try to write something. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talked about that. And it, it, it's, it's kind of like anything else, like learning to play the guitar or learning to do whatever. Um, when you very first start, it may not be awesome. Yeah. But the more you do it, the better you get, whether playing guitar, playing golf, playing basketball, you know, whatever you do. And so you feel like writing, the more songs you write, the better they get, the more they write. Um, yes, because it's just like working out, you know. At first it may be kind of hard, but you feel good afterwards once you do it. And the more you do it, the better you'll become, mm -hmm. you know. And I know this is going to sound really weird, but sing just constantly if you want to. If you're in the store and, like you said, singing about how you love chicken nuggets, sing about how you love chicken <laughs> nuggets if you want to. Because that's using your brain. It's exercising your brain to come up with melodies, mm -hmm. to come up with... And I, I, I have a song I sing when I do laundry that I just came up with. You know, what, just... what is it? <laughs> you want to sing it for <laughs> You don't um, have to. It's like the settings on my washing machine. And so it goes, normal, warm, cold, large, low. Settings on my washing machine. Gonna get all the clothes clean. Yeah. <laughs> so That's just, brilliant. Just, you know, sing whatever, you know. Because like I said, it's really about exercising your brain and 
you know, creativity. Yeah, you know, and it's it will definitely help if you yeah. sing, you know, and it doesn't necessarily have to be about your clothes and washing. Doing the laundry. Yeah. yeah, you know. Cooking dinner. Yeah, but you know, just sing whatever comes into your head because there have been times where I'll be, I don't know, say I am doing laundry or whatever. And I'll just start singing some little catchy melody or just some lyrics pop into my head and I'll stop exactly what I'm doing and just go and sit down with my guitar and just go with it. Yeah. You know, because you never know what's really going to trigger your creativity. So if you're constantly allowing an opportunity for it to be triggered, the right. more you will write. Yeah, that, that, sounds, that sounds a lot like uh, I know guys who are successful and people will just say, well, you're lucky. They'll say, yeah, but I create my own luck. And they'll say, no, I'm, yeah, I'm lucky, but I put myself in a place to be lucky. So they're yeah. always like, talk about being in the right place at the right time. It's like, well, because I hang out in those places. And so yeah. the more I'm in that place, the, the higher percentage of chance I am going to cross the right person or meet the right whatever. And so you're talking about being in a mode of creativity, even just doing laundry. So if you're always in a creative sort of state, then you never know when... You have a higher chance of, you know, hitting that nugget. That's like, oh, this is okay. I gotta go write this down, right now. Does that yeah. does that sound yeah. accurate? It, yeah, it sounds accurate. You have to create opportunities for your creativity to be triggered, you know. And you can't very well. How just, old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen. See, that was great. <laughs> that was brilliant. But yeah, create so, opportunities for your creativity to be triggered. Exactly. You should write that down. This should be a quote. You could even I'll make a song that. about that if you wanted to. Yeah, this has been Songwriting Tips with Ashley Murph. And uh, what we're going to do next, we're actually going to have Ashley play one of her songs. Yes. Uh, this is won't be a real like technical. Well, we're, we're just going to use the camera. So this is all going to be camera, mic, and everything like that. We're not going to mic her up and run it through a recording system. It's just going to be just right. uh, as real as you can get. That's yeah. great. Just like if you're going to come to the coffee shop and listen to Ashley play and sing, this is what you're going to get. <laughs> 